but with everyone else, I'm gonna start with a basic protein. So with my older dog, I started with chicken, and I just fed her chicken meat for a couple days, and then I slowly integrated um, <laughs> um, the organs, like the liver and the kidneys and stuff like that, because those are just really rich, and so it upsets their tummy really easily, so you wanna do it slowly. And then once they are a little bit used to like just doing chicken, then you can do turkey or you can do beef, and just add everything slowly, because it will upset their tummy a little bit. Second syllable, corgi. Um, but also in um, Celtic, corgi means dog. Um, so there are a couple of different like fun legends as to like where the corgi came from. And um, the Welsh led uh, a responsibility for the descendant of the corgi because they're like herding dogs. Um, and then there's another more commonly accepted theory um, where they trace back to Scandinavian writers and they brought these dogs to um, the British Isles in the 9th or 10th century. Um, hey guys, guys. And um, hey, sure. Sure. Uh, they're pretty. They're pretty. the Welsh corgi resembles the Swedish Malmoon, um, okay. which, and they were both presumed to like be, or that was presumed to be bred with the um, Welsh dogs, and that resulted in the corgi. Um, and they selected for the cattle herding um, traits, and so this is the Malmoon. Um, so it kind of looks like the corgi. Um, and then another theory that I found online um, was that these dogs were brought over by like um, Flemish and Beavers, which I didn't know what they were at first, but it turns out they're a Germanic ethnic group. <laughs> um, and they settled in Pembrokeshire, Shire, South Wales, which um, is where the Pembroke Corgi came from, or the name anyway in the 12th century. Um, and then these dogs were bred with um, cattle dogs. Um, which resulted in the characteristics of the corgi, um, which is the thick fur um, and the pointed ears and then the long, the long muzzles. Um, so yeah, so there wasn't like one, like just one theory of where they came from. There actually isn't a whole lot of information on the where the corgi mm -hmm. came from. It's all of just like these folklore tales, which <coughs> I think was pretty no, cool. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 Eddie. Eddie, hey, no, 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 guys, hey, shh, shh, shh. So that's the end of my presentation, but just an announcement. So this no. is my roommate's dog, and together, so Eddie and Cheddar the Corgi, I don't know if you've heard of Cheddar, but they're um, putting together. Thinking we were going to have to do computer animation, and we were going to have to do all kinds of techniques. And within a week, all of a sudden, the director calls us, and he goes, I can't believe it. The dog can spray the bottle. Come home with a little mixed breed dog named Taxi. Fulfilling every one of Mike's expectations, Taxi's first day includes 